YouTubers is Galen. Um, making this video out of uh, North Kingstown, Kingstown, um, Rhode Island. Uh, it's about eight o'clock in the morning here, um, Eastern Time. Um, I was just making this video because there's something that's been bothering me um, that I heard from you know a buddy of mine yesterday kind of got to me and I just was like let me just make a quick video about it I'm um, saying be no 10 minute video I can just be straight straight to the point um, I'm fairly new to this all right I've been doing it for a year um, I've been around uh, quite a few states I just can't get to the Dakotas for some reason I don't know if the Dakotas is somewhere I even want to go but you know Rhode Island wasn't a place I thought I'd be at but here I am in Rhode Island so you never know but anyways I've been around and I've been to a fair amount of truck stops and some are well lit and some are dark you know uh, they have no lighting you know and I feel like that we are all you know as truck drivers we are all part of a team you know um, I compare truck driving to the military yes you have the Army Navy uh, Air Force, Coast Guard, you know, yes, we're different branches. Well, they're different branches, but their their mission is one thing, you know, to you know, ser you know, serve the people of the United States, protect, you know, protect and serve, and you know, um, from both you know foreign and domestic terrorists. You know, they all say the same thing. They raise their right hand and they make an oath. You know. And same with police officers, you know, even though it's different cities, different counties, same mission statement, protect and serve, you know, the people of their, you know, city. I feel like as truck drivers, we all should have one mission statement, you know, to help, you know, supply the United States with products and foods and goods, you know. I understand that, yes, we have you know we're all the different colors we're all different races we are, you know comes in different shapes and sizes but i believe that we all should just feel like a team when you see another truck driver so, and there's been times when i go to a truck truck stop and it's it's a good conversation oh what about them 49ers i'm a 49er fan so they're like oh what about them 49ers you know oh they lost against the rams but we beat the saints you know and you know we talk trash what about them cowboys you know they you know they lost against the redskins but you know whatever you know, I feel like that fighting amongst each other is is not a good thing. I've heard over CB radio where, you know, truck drivers are just ignorant and they just be like, oh, I want to see a good truckers fight and stuff like that. Why? Why? We're, we're, we're grown. Don't nobody fight no more. You know, we're out here trying to make this money. We're out here trying to, you know, some people do it because this is their businesses. Some people do it because they love it. Some people doing it just to kill time. Some people doing it because they ain't got nothing else to do. But we all doing it. From we all have the same truck drivers. When one, we already have a bad name for ourselves. You know, I sit here and when I, you know, when I when I go to places that's not known the truck, I'm a truck driver. They're like, oh well, truck drivers are this and they're that and they're, you know, we get lot losers and they're hookers and prostitutes. We already have a bad name. So why? keep trying to give us a bad name by fighting amongst each other now we're looking like just 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 people with just nonsense you know it's, it's not right you know uh, he told me that he parked somewhere to run in and run out you know that he wasn't there for long and somebody got in his face another driver got in his face instead of just being like look man don't park there or just come over to cb roll your window down or just tell him like hey man don't don't park there he gotta get in his face sound like a tough guy he's acting like a tough guy all right now what if my friend would have felt threatened by some guy just walking up just with a punch right in his face it's, it's not right man you know when you see another thing that bothers me is when another truck is backing up and it's dark you know y'all come over to cb y'all hunking your horn let the person back up all right if you're that much in a rush i feel like if you're that much in a rush that you know you cannot wait for this truck to get in that hole and you see they're having issues get out the truck and help you know it, it ain't a crime to get out your truck and help it ain't a crime you know it's 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 it's, it's, it's 
we're all one team. We all do the same exact thing. We sit behind these wheels. We all feel the same way. We get tired. Sometimes, you know, we, we, we're aggravated with cars and four-wheelers, you know, with RVs, with, you know, animals and, and customers that consignees and shippers and stuff like that. You just get tired of, we all go through the same thing. Don't nobody do nothing different. It's just that some of us drive longer than others. That's it. And some of us get paid more than others. That's it. But we all do the same thing. If one truck driver do one thing, guess what? When the the, the, the civilian, I mean, not civilian, the, the the people with no CDL see us as, if, if I do something wrong, they're going to think all truck drivers are like that. You know, people already fear us, you know, and it's just, it's just sad that we take it out amongst each other, you know. Like I said, if you see somebody backing in a spot, you know, and you see that they're having issues because of lighting, grab a flashlight or just, you know, just tell somebody, look, I'm going to help you out. By you sitting there arguing, ain't doing nothing. First, they can't hear you. Only thing they can hear is your horn. Now you're stressing them out and now you're making them take even longer. You know, I said, I'm not going to make this a real long video, man, but it's just something that bothered me, man, to hear from a friend that another truck driver got in his face to want to fight because he parked somewhere and I mean it wasn't even like he, he I don't know where he parked there he didn't go into details he just said he parked by a pump and he just ran in and ran out he didn't block off traffic okay so like I said man, we, we all one team man it's one team one fight man we just do the, our mission is the same thing man you know y'all don't know the effects that we have on some people don't know the effects that we have on the United States if trucks didn't exist you know, that's just like saying, what if the police didn't exist? The, the, the world would be chaos. The same way with trucks. If trucks didn't exist, the world would be chaos. You know, nobody would have nothing. So, I say, I ain't gonna make this a 10 minute video, man. It's already at seven minutes, man. It just bothers me to hear that, man. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, there's times when I sit back and I actually seen somebody hit somebody. You know, I seen somebody hit somebody and pull off. What, what I did was I just knocked on the door and was like, hey, man, somebody hit you, man. I ain't know who he was. Somebody hit you. All right? We already got people out here stealing our loads. You know, we, as truck drivers, we can sit there and watch somebody steal somebody else's load. Like, one day I saw somebody steal. I was like, hey, y'all know y'all ain't supposed to do that. Don't don't try to be a superhero. But knock on, the, knock on the truck driver's door and just be like, hey, somebody just stole your load. You know, you probably want to notify your company or your dispatch or your broker or whatever. You know, but we can sit there and sit in these trucks and look and just be like, oh man, they stealing that person's load. Come on, man, we're a team, man. You know, it doesn't matter race, age, sex, anything. It doesn't matter. You know, you know, if you see a newbie and 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 they're trying to find somewhere to go, help them out. But don't sit there and 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 bad mouth them. Oh, look, the new guy don't know where to go at. Or oh, hey, you know this this. That, that's all I heard in the truck stuff. I've been doing this for twenty years. Some of these new drivers, man, they come. They don't know where they going. They don't know what how to drive. They don't know. Okay, you help them. Don't talk about it. Help them. If you can't help them, shut your mouth. All right, y'all. It just bothers me. I'll make another video. Like I said, I'm here in um north kingstown rhode island i just wanted to put that out there you know like i said one team man one team one mission man that's all we try and do you know so like i said we rather want some of us want to just make that money and some of us want to you know we feel like we're really helping the united states out and i you know me i'm for both you know i like making money but then i like you know knowing that okay hey right now i got like some bottled water somebody's gonna be drinking this water if it wasn't for me somebody wouldn't have no water right now that's how you gotta look at it all right y'all be blessed have a good day and talk to you later